So we're talking about setting up different moods. And the reason that we do this is because this is how we navigate the island of the practical or our life situations. By setting up specific moods, specific emotions, or specific states of being that help us navigate what it is that we need to navigate or want to navigate. So we can use the mood of the warrior and the mood of the sage in all types of situations, all types of uh, different things that are coming into our experience. We can find ways to essentially set ourselves up for success. So I can give an example, a little bit of what that might look like. So one of the things that we were talking about earlier is the mood of fire. So all of the different moods have been broken down into different elements. And then that element is associated with different moods. But there's one thing that I wanted to point out. If we are assuming the mood of fire, that doesn't mean that we can't easily switch to water at any moment. We're fluid. We're dynamic. We can change at any moment. This is also the mood of the sage. It's not a fixed position. And when we practice and we get better at this, we can start to multiply, modulate. So we can take on multiple moods at one time, which is really interesting. That's how stuff gets really fun in our experience. So what does that look like? So we'll talk about mood of fire. So mood of fire has a lot of different aspects to it because it takes on some of the characteristics of the element of fire. So we were talking about dance. So dance, for me, in a lot of ways, I would set that mood up with fire because I want it to be passionate. I want it to be exciting. I don't want to think about exciting. I don't want to have words in my mind thinking about passion. But before I go dancing, I can set that up. I can set that mood up. First, I relax, find a little bit of space in my experience and peace. And then if I want to create an emotion that will require a thought, so I can think particular thoughts that will help set up this mood, imagine particular images that will help set up this mood. And it comes to you like a feeling of confidence, of knowing, and we start to tap into the feeling of fire in terms of being excited, being passionate, having you know that, that excitement and drive to you when you dance. And now this isn't a thinking process. This isn't an intellectual thought process going through our mind. The more that we connect to this feeling and this mood of fire, the more we're a little bit on the young side of things, deliberately, we're, we're choosing to be there. And we can adapt and, and choose other moods in the moment, or we can start to mix different, different moods and different elements together. For example, I have the passion of fire, but I move like water. <laughs> I navigate the crowd like air. So there's all kinds of different moods and ways that we can embody these elements and, and the mood of the sage. And fire oftentimes has a lot to do with the creative process right? Forged in the fire. It typically has a lot to do with, with passion, drive, life. Sometimes itself can be likened to the fire and the flame. But creativity, passion, sexual energy, all of these things can be associated with the element of fire. And we can choose to deliberately modulate to that. From a peaceful state, we can choose to deliberately modulate to the, to the essence of fire, passion, relaxed fierceness, sexuality, sensuality. We can start to blend these moods by, again, setting it up, focused, intent on thinking, either thoughts that create the feeling and then allowing that feeling to really permeate and grow. And then you're working with feeling the entire time and you're setting yourself up for a fantastic time because that's what you wanted to do. That was your deliberate modulation. And then when you're done, smooth breaths back to peace, we can easily modulate back to wind and air. Or maybe we modulate to the, to the earth element. And feel very rooted, very strong. 
It all depends. We can do what we want with this energy. We can do what we want with this life experience. And fire is a very important mood, a very important element. And it can be very useful in a lot of different ways. I have found in my martial arts that multiply modulating between these elements, sometimes fire comes out. Sometimes there's a little bit of heat being generated, a little bit of creation through destruction happening. And it's all through deliberate intent. I set that mood up. Now it's easier for me. I can set the mood up really quickly and it immediately transfers to an emotional state or it transfers to a, a state of being such as peace or joy or love. But I, I can do it deliberately with intention anytime that I want to. And when we assume the mood of the warrior, we can choose what mood that is. And when we do that, it's supremely advantageous on the island of the practical. There's so many ways that we can explore the mood of fire and how it can benefit us and how it can maximize our life experience and help us navigate this life experience that I call island of the practical in the most elegant and efficient way possible.